Lerinde, an accomplished actress, left an indelible mark on the film industry during the 1930s and 1940s. Born in 1920, she began her career in Hollywood at the young age of 18 and quickly became a prominent figure in the industry. Known for her roles in films such as Foreign Correspondent and The High and the Mighty, Day demonstrated her versatility and talent as an actress, earning her the title of the First Lady of Radio. In addition to her work in film, Day was also a pioneer for women in broadcasting. She became one of the first women to host a weekly television show, Daydreaming with Lorraine, where she interviewed celebrities and discussed current events. Her contributions to both film and television paved the way for future generations of women in the entertainment industry. Despite facing challenges and discrimination as a woman in a male-dominated industry, Day remained a trailblazer and a role model for aspiring actresses. She continued to act and work in television until her retirement in the 1980s. Today, her legacy lies on as a testament to the power of perseverance and the enduring impact of her work. Lauren Day was a classic Hollywood actress known for her roles in films like Foreign Correspondent and Mr. Lucky. She also hosted the popular medical series Medical Center. Do you have a personal story about how Lauren Day has inspired or impacted you? Or perhaps you know some lesser known facts about her that are fascinating. We'd love to hear your memories and experiences related to this star in the comments below. There are many fun, shocking, and sad facts about Larry and Day that we'll be sharing in this video. So, stay tuned. In the meantime, do you have a most cherished memory or personal experience related to Larry and Day that you'd like to share? We're all ears. Larry and Day was a talented actress who graced the silver screen with her presence for several decades. Her work continues to inspire and captivate audiences today. Do you have any thoughts or reflections on Lorraine Day's enduring legacy? Share them with us in the comments below. Lorraine Day, born Lorraine Day on October 13, 1920, in Roosevelt, Utah, was the youngest of four children. Her father, Thomas Churchill Day, was a physician, and her mother, Mary, was a homemaker. The family moved to California when Lorraine was a child, where she was raised in a Mormon household. Lorraine's early exposure to acting came through her older sister, who was involved in high school drama productions. Lorraine would often tag along and help out backstage, which sparked her interest in the craft. She began taking acting classes and performing in school plays, eventually landing her first professional role in a local theater production at the age of 16. Key influences and mentors in Lorraine's early career included her drama teacher, Esther Dale, who encouraged her to pursue acting professionally. Lorraine also credited her mother for supporting her dreams and driving her to auditions. In the late 1930s, Lorraine was discovered by a talent scout and signed to a contract with MGM. She began her film career with small roles, eventually working her way up to leading lady status. Lorraine's early success can be attributed to her natural talent, hard work, and the support of her family and mentors. Lorraine Day was a significant actress during the 1930s and 1940s known for her work in films such as Foreign Correspondent and Mr. Lucky. She was born Lorraine Day on October 13, 1920, in Roosevelt, Utah. Day's acting career began in the theater before she transitioned to film. Day's talent and dedication to her craft quickly gained her recognition in the industry. She appeared in over 40 films and was often cast in leading roles opposite some of Hollywood's big guitars, such as Cary Grant and Spencer Tracy. Day's ability to portray a wide range of characters made her a valuable asset to any production. In addition to her work in film, Day was also a pioneer in the field of television. She was one of the first actresses to make the transition from film to television, appearing in several early TV shows. Day's work in television helped to establish the medium as a viable platform for quality programming. Day's contributions to the entertainment industry were not limited to her acting abilities. She was also a strong advocate for actors' rights and worked tirelessly to improve the working conditions for actors in both film and television. Lair and Day's talent, dedication, and advocacy have left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Her work continues to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences and industry professionals alike. Lair and Day, born Laura Martha Esther Wiggins, discovered her passion for acting as a teenager. Raised in a Mormon family in Utah, she was initially interested in pursuing a career in nursing. However, her interest in drama was sparked when she participated in her high school's drama club 
and landed the lead role in a school production. Day's pivotal experience came when she was just 17 years old. She attended a summer theater program in Los Angeles, where she was discovered by a talent scout. This encounter led to her signing a contract with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer and moving to Hollywood to pursue a career in acting. Despite facing challenges and rejections early on, Day remained determined to succeed in the industry. She took acting classes, worked on her voice and diction, and appeared in small roles in various films. Her hard work and dedication paid off when she was cast in her first major role in the film Rings on Her Fingers in 1942. Day's passion for acting was fueled by her love for storytelling and her desire to connect with audiences. She once said, I have always been fascinated by the power of the theater and the movies to transport people to another world, to make them laugh, cry, and think. Throughout her career, Day appeared in over 50 films and television shows, including Foreign Correspondent, The High and the Mighty, and Mistress Miniver. She also became known for her roles in several popular radio programs and her work as a television host. Day's legacy as an actress continues to inspire aspiring performers to this day. Her story serves as a testament to the power of passion, hard work, and determination in achieving one's dreams. After Larry and Day's passing, she was laid to rest at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Hollywood Hills, California. Born on October 13, Day began her film career with a small role as a girl at a soda shop in Stella, Dallas. Interestingly, her foreign correspondent co-star, Wheaton Chambers, also celebrated his birthday on the same date. Their shared birthday added a unique connection between the two actors during the filming of their 1940 movie. Larry and Day, born Laura Martha Esther Wiggins, faced many challenges on her journey to becoming a successful actress. Growing up in a Mormon family in Utah, she was expected to follow traditional gender roles and not pursue a career in the entertainment industry. However, Larian had big dreams and was determined to make a name for herself. One of the biggest obstacles Larian faced was financial struggles. Her family was not well off and she had to work several jobs to support herself while pursuing her acting career. She took on various roles, such as a switchboard operator and a model to make ends meet. Despite these challenges, Lorraine remained focused on her goal and continued to audition for roles. Another hurdle Lorraine had to overcome was industry skepticism. As a newcomer to Hollywood, she faced rejection and doubt from industry professionals who did not believe she had what it took to make it in the business. However, Lorraine did not let this discourage her. She used her resilience and determination to prove them wrong. Larian found creative solutions to overcome these obstacles. She took acting classes to improve her skills and networked with other industry professionals to gain more exposure. Larian also took on any role that came her way, no matter how small or insignificant it seemed. This helped her gain experience and build her resume, making her more attractive to casting directors and producers. Laren's hard work and dedication paid off. She landed several significant roles in films and became a well-known actress in Hollywood. Laren's story is a testament to the power of resilience and determination in overcoming obstacles and achieving one's dreams. Laren Day and Glenn Ford were a couple in the early 1940s. Day, who would have turned 100 in October 2020, had a notable acting career. She and Lou Ayers appeared together in eight films, including the Dr. Kildare series and Fingers at the Window. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable, and their collaborations remain popular today. Day's birthday and Ayers' anniversary were marked in November 2020, a tribute to their enduring influence on classic cinema. Larry and Day's career had several breakthrough moments that showcased her talent and versatility as an actress. In 1939, she signed a contract with MGM, which marked the beginning of her rise to fame. One of her earliest significant roles was in the 1942 film Dr. Kildare's Victory, where she played the female lead opposite Lou Ayers. Her performance was praised, and it helped establish her as a promising new talent in Hollywood. In 1943, Day starred in Mr. Lucky with Cary Grant, which was a turning point in her career. The film received positive reviews, and her chemistry with Grant was particularly noted. The film's success led to Day becoming a popular leading lady in Hollywood. Another breakthrough moment for Day was her role in the 1944 film Since She Went Away. The film was a critical and commercial success, and Day's performance was highly praised. 
she received a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in the film. In the late 1940s, Day transitioned from films to television, where she had another breakthrough moment in the medical drama, The Doctor. She played the role of Dr. Helen Davis, a dedicated and compassionate doctor, which was well received by audiences and critics alike. The show ran for five seasons, and Day's performance was a significant factor in its success. Throughout her career, Lorraine Day's breakthrough moments were marked by her ability to take on diverse roles and make them her own. Her talent and dedication to her craft were recognized by her peers, critics, and audiences, cementing her place as a respected and admired actress in Hollywood. Laren Day, an actress born in 1920, faced significant struggles in Hollywood, including pressure to stay young. The studio system of the time tightly controlled actors' images, often pushing them to undergo plastic surgery or maintain a youthful appearance. Day, however, refused to give in to these pressures, advocating for natural beauty and aging gracefully. Beyond the pressure to stay young, Day also experienced challenges in her personal life. She converted to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in the 1940s, causing controversy in the predominantly Catholic film industry. Day's religious beliefs often limited the roles she could play as she refused to take on parts that went against her faith. Despite these challenges, Day persevered and became a successful actress, appearing in over 40 films throughout her career. She also hosted a television show, Daydreaming with Lorraine, and wrote several books on health and wellness. Throughout her life, Day remained committed to her values and beliefs, even in the face of adversity. Her refusal to conform to Hollywood's unrealistic standards of beauty and her dedication to her faith serve as a reminder of the importance of staying true to oneself, even in the face of pressure to do otherwise. Laren Day was an actress known for her calm and collected screen presence, often portraying characters with a strong sense of morality and resolve. Her approach to acting was grounded in her belief in the power of storytelling and the importance of bringing authenticity to her roles. She prepared for her roles by deeply understanding her character's background and motivations, which allowed her to bring a sense of reality to her performances. Day's personal experiences, including her time as a nurse during World War II, influenced her portrayal of nurturing and supportive characters. She believed that every role offered a chance to connect with the audience on a human level, sharing stories that could inspire and comfort. Her style was characterized by a natural elegance and a focus on the emotional truth of her characters, making her performances memorable and relatable. Day's work reflects her view that film can be a force for good, providing hope and guidance through its narratives. Laren Day, the accomplished actress, is perhaps best known for her work in films such as Foreign Correspondent and Mr. Lucky. However, her accomplishments extend beyond the silver screen. In 1968 and 1984, she was an honored guest speaker for the women's division at the Republican National Conventions. This demonstrates her involvement in politics and her commitment to public service. Day's academic background is also noteworthy. She graduated from Polytechnic High School in Long Beach, California in 1938, setting the foundation for her successful career. In addition to her acting and political achievements, Day had a personal connection to the world of sports. On July 31, 1994, she accepted a posthumous award on behalf of her former husband, Leo Durocher, who had been chosen as an inductee into the Baseball Hall of Fame in Coopperstown, New York. This highlights her role as a supportive spouse and her appreciation for the sport. Throughout her life, Larine Day made significant contributions in various fields, leaving a lasting impact on those around her. Larin Day, an actress who graced Hollywood with her talent from the 1930s to the 1960s, e, made significant contributions to the film industry. She was best known for her roles in romantic dramas and film noirs, often playing strong-willed and intelligent characters. Day's impact on the industry was not just limited to her on-screen performances. She was also a trailblazer for women in Hollywood, advocating for equal pay and opportunities for actresses. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times, actress and producer Roma Downey cited Day as an inspiration for her own advocacy work in the industry. Day's acting style was characterized by her naturalness and simplicity, which influenced many actresses who followed in her footsteps. According to film historian G9 Basinger, Larry Day's acting style was a breath of fresh air in a time when over-the-top performances were the norm. 
She brought a sense of realism to her roles that resonated with audiences. Day's contributions to storytelling were also significant. She starred in several films that tackled social issues of the time, such as Forever Amber and The High and The Mighty. Her portrayal of complex and multidimensional characters helped to elevate the status of women in film and paved the way for future generations of actresses. In addition to her work in film, Day was also a pioneer in television. She was one of the first actresses to make the transition from film to TV, starring in several popular series in the 1950s and 1960s. Her work in television helped to legitimize the medium as a viable platform for quality storytelling and acting. Overall, Laring Day's impact on the film and television industry is still felt today. Her contributions to storytelling, acting techniques, and advocacy for women's rights have left an indelible mark on the industry and continue to inspire future generations of actors and filmmakers. Laren Day, throughout her life, adopted three children with her husband Ray Hendricks. She had a wide range of hobbies that she enjoyed, including gardening, dining, and watching inspirational movies. Listening to the radio, playing tennis, and reading the Bible were also among her interests. She valued spending time with her family, sewing, baking, and sending greeting cards. Day was also known for her charity work, walking her dogs, traveling, and taking pleasure in homemaking. Day was initially considered for the role of Leona Stevenson in the film Sorry, Wrong Number, but had to withdraw due to scheduling conflicts with my dear secretary. Ultimately, Barbara Stanwyck took on the part. Larry Day, an accomplished actress, led a life that extended beyond the silver screen. She was a woman of faith, and her strong Christian values often influenced her career choices. Day was a devout member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and even hosted a religious TV show, The Laren Day Show, in the 1950s. Day was also a passionate advocate for health care. She served as a Red Cross nurse during World War II, an experience that deepened her respect for the medical profession. Later, she became a member of the American Hospital Association's Board of Directors. Her dedication to health care was not just limited to her professional life. She often used her public platform to raise awareness about health-related issues. Philanthropy was another significant aspect of Day's life. She was actively involved in various charitable organizations, including the Girl Scouts and the American Cancer Society. Her philanthropic efforts were driven by her belief in giving back to the community and helping those in need. In her personal life, Day was known for her love of sports, particularly baseball. She married four times, and her third husband was baseball legend Leo DeRocher. Her interest in sports led to several acting roles in sports-themed films, further demonstrating how her personal life and values intertwined with her professional career. In summary, Laren Day was not just an actress. She was a woman of faith, a healthcare advocate, a philanthropist, and a sports enthusiast. Her personal values and interests significantly influenced her work making her a multidimensional figure in Hollywood's golden age. Laren Day, a prominent figure in Hollywood during the 1940s, was known for her patriotism and dedication to her country. She displayed the American flag outside her home every day, regardless of the weather, and hosted an annual barbecue on July 4th for her family and friends from the acting world. Her commitment to her country extended beyond displays of patriotism, as she was active in various organizations such as the VFW, the Red Cross, and Paralyzed Veterans of America. Day was a popular actress during her time in Hollywood and was voted America's sweetheart of the 1940s. She was also named Max Factor's Star of the Year in 1944. Her twin brother, Lamar, served as an infantry cook in the United States Army during World War II and later became a stand-up comedian for various cruise ship lines. He passed away in 2012 at the age of 91. In addition to her acting career and patriotic efforts, Day was close with her family and had a deep bond with her twin brother. Her dedication to her country and her loved ones, as well as her successful acting career, make Laren Day a notable figure in Hollywood history. Laren Day, a renowned actress from Hollywood's golden age, left a lasting legacy within the industry. She was known for her versatile roles in various genres, including drama, comedy, and film noir. Day's ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance was truly captivating, making her a standout talent of her time. For those aspiring to follow in Day's footsteps, her advice would be to never stop learning and growing as an artist. 
She believed that staying true to oneself and constantly honing one's craft were essential to a successful career in the entertainment industry. Day also emphasized the importance of being adaptable and open to new opportunities, as the industry is always evolving. As for the future of the industry, Day would likely encourage aspiring professionals to embrace technology and the changing landscape of entertainment. From streaming services to virtual reality, there are countless new avenues for storytelling and creativity. By staying informed and open-minded, young professionals can help shape the future of the industry and make their own indelible mark. In short, Larry and Day's legacy serves as a reminder that hard work, dedication, and a willingness to adapt can lead to a successful and fulfilling career in the entertainment industry. Her advice to aspiring professionals is to stay true to themselves, continuously learn and grow, and embrace the ever-changing landscape of entertainment. Larry and Day's career at MGM took a turn when she was promised the female lead in Undercurrent after completing Keep Your Powder Dry, but the role was given to Katherine Hepburn instead. This led to Day leaving MGM and never returning. Before entering acting, Day studied under Elias Day, taking on his surname. In 1951, RKO Radio Pictures planned a film noir, The Sins of Sarah Ferry, starring Day, Fred McMurray, and others, with filming set in Binghampton and Johnson City. However, the project was canceled as the studio did not receive permission to film in the area nor negotiate payment. Laren Day was a dedicated actress who left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. She began her career in the 1930s and quickly became known for her versatility and commitment to her craft. Over the years, she appeared in a variety of film genres, including dramas, comedies, and westerns. Day's passion for acting was evident in every role she played. She brought depth and nuance to her characters, making them feel real and relatable to audiences. Her innovative approach to acting helped to push the boundaries of what was possible on screen and inspired a new generation of actors. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout her career, Day never gave up. She persevered in the face of adversity and continued to work hard to perfect her craft. Her determination and dedication helped her to achieve success in an industry that can be notoriously difficult to navigate. Day's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today. Her body of work serves as a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. She showed that with hard work and dedication, it is possible to achieve great things, even in the face of adversity. In the end, Larry and Day's legacy is one of passion, innovation, and enduring impact. She will always be remembered as a trailblazer in the world of entertainment, and her work will continue to inspire and captivate audiences for generations to come. Laren Day was an American actress who was part of the Motion Picture Alliance for the Preservation of American Ideals, a group that was fiercely anti-communist and included notable members like Ginger Rogers, Clark Gable, Gary Cooper, John Wayne, Robert Taylor, Barbara Stanwyck, and Irene Dunn. Day was known for her strong convictions and was even considered for the female lead in the 1949 film Samson and Delilah, although the role ultimately went to Hedy Lamarr. In the film Without Honor, Day played the character Jane Bandel and had the right of refusal in choosing her leading man. This was a notable achievement for Day as it demonstrated her influence and power within the industry. Her performance in the film was widely praised and it showcased her talent and versatility as an actress. Overall, Laren Day was a respected and accomplished figure in the world of Hollywood, known for her strong convictions and her ability to make a lasting impact on the film she appeared in. Her contributions to the industry continue to be celebrated and remembered today. Laren Day was born on an Indian reservation, starting her life with a unique connection to the natural world. In the 1970s, she became a prominent figure in the Make America Better campaign program sponsored by the National Association of Real Estate Boards, where she used her platform to advocate for environmentalism. Her speeches, given throughout the country, reflected her concern for the planet's well-being. Day's acting career included co-starring with Robert Young in four films Dr. Kildare's Crisis, The Trial of Mary Dugan, Journey for Margaret, and Those Endearing Young Charms. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable, and their collaborations remain memorable. Her work in these films showcased her talent and dedication to her craft. Larry Day was a prolific actress who often collaborated with Lou Ayers, appearing in eight films together from 1939 to 1942. 
Their on-screen partnership included the Dr. Kildare series and Fingers at the Window. In the early 1940s, Day was an influential figure in the film industry, serving on the board of the Screen Actors Guild. She used her platform to support the Hollywood Dog Obedience Club, a nonprofit organization. In her later years, she became a volunteer instructor, teaching pet owners how to care for their dogs properly. Day's love for dogs was well known, and she dedicated her time to ensuring their well-being. Her contributions to the film industry and her passion for animal welfare made her a respected and beloved figure. Laren Day, the actress known for her commitment to her Mormon faith, once had Robert Stack as her escort to her 20th birthday party at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. She lived her life in accordance with her beliefs, never swearing, smoking, or drinking any kind of alcohol, coffee, or tea. Among all the movies she starred in, the locket held a special place in her heart as her personal favorite. Her dedication to her craft and her faith made her a unique figure in Hollywood. Laren Day, the actress known for her roles in films such as The Locket, endorsed George W. Bush in the 2000 and 2004 presidential elections. Her work in the industry was recognized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Located at 1676 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California, on February 8, 1960. Interestingly, the daughter of actor Robert Mitchum, Petrine Day Mitchum, was named in her honor. Lorraine and Robert Mitchum had co-starred in The Locket together. This serves as a testament to the impact and reach of Lorraine Day's career, which continues to be felt and remembered in the world of film. If you're a fan of classic Hollywood, you won't want to miss the work of Lorraine Day, an accomplished actress who graced the silver screen in the 1930s and 1940s. Known for her roles in films like Foreign Correspondent and The High and The Mighty, Day left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Lorraine Day's work and legacy. Did you have a favorite performance of hers? What about her acting style resonated with you? Share your memories and reflections in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into Day's career, be sure to like and share this post with your friends and followers. Let's celebrate the creative spirits who have shaped the world of entertainment. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content exploring the lives and careers of the actors and actresses who have made an enduring impact on the film industry. We can't wait to share